of Sixth Avenue to Fourteenth Street. You are standing in the middle yes. of the in the mid, middle 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 in the middle of the nineteen buildings of Rockefeller Center. To to rise on forty nine. 49th, 49th Street, one another block and to left, you are in Rockefeller Plaza. Um, in the winter, you can ice stay in the. No, I don't Finish. Uh, in, in the winter. winter. Uh -huh. in, in, the, in the winter. In the winter. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. That was good. I see you guys are sharing. Very nice. Okay, uh, continue. Yes. Number four. Right across for Rockefeller Center of Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick Cathedral, is modeled after the cathedral in College, Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick and leave the noisy city, Beijing. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Very good. Nice. Thank you very much. Okay, we finish. Nice. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so we finish uh, section number three. Uh, that was about it. So now I'm going to share with you the most important PowerPoints that we have for this lesson. Okay, for example, uh, reposition of place. Let's start with this one. Okay, let me just, here we go. Can everybody see? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good, let's see. captions and also. Okay, because of the time, I'm the only one who's going to read, and you guys uh, ask me after I read, okay? If you have any questions, here we go. Okay, so today we're going to identify, discuss, and talk about prepositions of place. So as you can see, we have behind, in front of, next to, between, near, above, below, in, and on. So let's see. Okay, we're not going to do that because there is no much time. Okay, number one, what are prepositions of place? A preposition of place is a preposition which is used to refer to a place where something or someone is located. There are only three prepositions of place. However, they can be used to discuss an almost endless number of places. A preposition of place which is used to discuss a certain point. Questions here? Yes, almost. Almost, casi, casi todos. O casi todo. Almost. Sí, endless. Endless, sin fin. Endless, sin fin. Thanks. Oh, very good. Moving on. So we have add, a preposition of place which is used to discuss a certain point. In, a preposition of place which is used to discuss an enclosed space. On a preposition of time, which is used to discuss a surface. Preposition of place allow you to be very specific when talking about where action takes place in stories or when discussing important details for communication purposes. Okay, so as you can see, we have at, at. discuss a certain point. El at dice que 
es para hablar de cierto punto en particular o de cierto lugar. In is a prepositional place which is used to discuss in a closed space. Es un lugar un, o un espacio encerrado. Por ejemplo, cuando están dentro de la iglesia. So, ustedes pueden decir, um, in the church. Okay. Sure. Y por último tenemos on, a preposition of time which is used to discuss a surface. Dice que es, es para definir o hablar de un lugar de una superficie. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, um, on the top of the roof. Estoy en, en la, eh, arriba de la casa, ¿cómo se llama? En el, en ¿En el, el plafón, techo. En el techo, va, en el techo de la casa, en el plafón. So I can say on, ¿ok? okay. Si usted se sube a la mesa, okay. está encima de la mesa, usted va a decir, I'm on the table. Okay. ¿Ya? ¿Entendimos eso? Yeah. Ok, yes. very, very good. Yes. No, questions about here, any vocabulary or anything? No. Surface. Surface. Eh, en, un, en una superficie. Por ejemplo, si usted se sube arriba de la mesa, usted está en la superficie de la mesa. Por eso va a utilizar on. ¿Ok? Thanks. Thanks. Pero si se mete a una caja, va a utilizar in. Mm -hmm. Porque ya está dentro de un lugar encerrado. ¿Ok? Y si está afuera de, de, de la iglesia, por ejemplo, usted va a decir at, porque todavía no ha entrado. ¿Ok? Yes, thanks. You're welcome. Let's move on. Examples of preposition of place. Preposition of place give you the ability to tell others where something is located. In the following examples, the preposition of place have been uh, italicized for ease of identification. Jesse waited for Jim at the corner. The mall is located at the intersection of Main Street and Third Avenue. We spent a quiet evening at home and growing tomatoes in my garden. So you see the examples? At the corner and at the intersection, at home, in my garden. Okay. Questions here? Okay. No questions. No. Very good. So let's stop here. So the next thing that we're going to discuss in order for you to understand better is, let's see, is compound nouns. Let's see the, the second thing that we saw today, compound nouns. Okay, very good. Now, let me share with you guys. Here we go. Okay, so the same thing. I'm going to read only. You only listen. And if you have questions, you're going to ask me. That's because we lost so much time, okay? Here we go. So today, we're going to identify, discuss, and talk about compound nouns in English. Let's see what it's all about. An introduction. Oh, sorry. Okay. What is a compound noun? A compound noun contains two or more words that join together to make a single noun, like keyboard. A compound noun is a type of compound word that is used to designate a person, place, or thing. Compound nouns can be formed in several ways, which is one reason why writing these words can be tricky. Okay, so compound noun, dice que el compound noun tiene dos Dos o más palabras juntas. So, okay. Uh, questions are here? No. no. What about, okay, I'm going to ask you, what does this mean, tricky? What is the, more, the, the word tricky mean? Tricky. Uh -huh. I don't know. Tricky, engañoso. Engañoso. So, a veces, uh, sometimes compound nouns can be tricky. Significa que a veces va a ser muy engañoso reconocer cuáles son las palabras compound. Okay? Let's see. A compound noun is formed when two words are combined to make a completely new word. This means that the meaning of the new word must be significantly different than either of its parts individually. For example, a hot dog or hot dog i.e. 
or in example, a type of sausage typical, typically eaten on a bun. Okay, dice que el compound noun va a, formar, va, va a ser formado con dos palabras que se combinan para diseñar una nueva palabra. Ejemplo, hot dog. Aquí hay dos palabras que eh, no unidas significan otra cosa. En cambio, unidas significan otra cosa diferente. Aquí significa perro caliente, perro pero caliente. literalmente el perro es que está caliente, el perro, su animal. En cambio aquí, hot dog, perro caliente, uh -huh. pero se refiere a la, lo que comemos en un, en una, en un pan, you ¿no? Know, hot dog. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, yes. ven las dos palabras que no están unidas, significa el animal que tiene calentura o está caliente. Y el otro, el hot dog, que ya está pegada a las palabras y significa el pan que comemos. ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, any questions here? No. Very good. Okay, as you can see, that was uh, compound nouns and prepositions of place. So we finished with section number three and you guys are ready to do the test. And tomorrow we're going to start section number four. Okay? Um, guys, listen, um, I wanted to say something. Let me just leave this here. Um, I wanted to say something very important because you told me that um, to work on the material for you guys, I told you yesterday to send me your full name, uh, your email, and the, um, the, 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 the class that you're in. Only I received today only Angel Antonio. Angel Antonio sent me his information. Uh, so please send it to my email right now. Can you have a minute and send it to me right now? Okay. Right now, send it to me right now, okay, to my email. Your full name, the class Principiante 3, and your email, please, right now. I'm giving you one minute. Oh, and another thing, uh, if you have any questions before taking the test, if you have any doubts, you can send me, a, you can send me an email or, or, or send me a message to my WhatsApp uh, asking me, ask me if you, before taking the test, if you have any doubts, okay? I can help you with that. Good, good. I received Rodrigo, Carla Cano. You were supposed to put Principiante 3, so I won't mess it up with the other classes, please. Two, four, six. Only six students in the class. Okay, guys, so we finished for today. So I'm going to see you tomorrow, and hopefully we're not going to have any problems with internet. You know, I don't know why, why, what happened today. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow, and you have you guys have a nice night. And remember, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. Okay. Okay. Have a good night okay. and sweet dreams. Thanks. See you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. God willing. God willing.